Welcome, CZ. Uh, as always, if you guys are interested in my game, go ahead and check out datafabrications.com. Uh, I've got some extra little tidbits in there for you. If you feel like you want to support me, drop by my merch store. Or you could donate a coffee. If you're new, hit that sub or follow button. Uh, either way, I'm happy you're here. Welcome to the stream. And, uh, yeah. ZZ. What the hell happened? They didn't even, like, explain anything. They're just like, oh yeah, actually, our bad. No, no violations were committed. Sorry. That was the most insane response I've ever seen. We are... Gonna go ahead and add the switch onto a door. There will be two ways to activate that. So we're going to go ahead and create a new setup over here. Uh, messed up. I think CZ died. CZ! What happened? Give us the deets. Give us the gross little deets. Happy Friday. Welcome everyone. Also, I just met a really cool creator. Pull him up here. I need to add him to my featured. But... Got a channel. That's muted. No, not channel. Got a video producer. Where is this community? Followers list. August 16th. He's, an, he's another indie dev, so uh, check out his work. He has some really impressive stuff. Add them on. I don't even remember how to. I'm so bad with Twitch. I think I go to like edit. No, that's. Those are tabs. Creator dashboard? How do I feature people? Settings, stream, ch channel, featured content. So Goblins is pretty active. Alright. I think that worked. I don't know. I guess we'll find out. Did you die, CZ? What happened? I gotta like double check. Hmm. 
scissoring. Well, nobody knows that. Is my audio? I, my audio is working, right? Yeah. <sighs> oh, hey. Would you look at that? Would you look at that? All right. So, uh, we can we can do a few things. We can find this blueprint, drop that, grab our door blueprint. All right. We will grab our elevator blueprint. in our browser sorry I'm a little a little tired today I didn't get a whole lot of sleep all right so we'll go ahead and duplicate door and switch we'll duplicate it we'll call it door and lever okay so door and lever we'll close our door and switch door and lever we're gonna delete our button I don't need the button I don't need that that's fine go ahead and delete those door that's all we need okay well we can take these two. All right. And we will uh, do a toggle. Or is it a toggle? It's a toggle. Flip flop. Okay, we'll do A and B. All right, so from here, we are, I wonder if I can just take lever. Yeah, I think I can just grab all of these, copy and paste. All right, so now, that I don't need lift direction to tell me which way it's going. I just have my lever. Alright, the next thing we're gonna have to do is go into class settings and add an interface. Call this interact CT. What's up, ghoul? How are you doing today? Happy Friday. Yo, 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 yo. All right, so we'll take... We'll take our lever, and I need all of this code. Well, yeah. I need all of this code. Some of that's not relevant, but we'll pick that. Uh, do nothing with. Do nothing. Elevator up is not relevant. Okay. Trigger volume. Which one isn't relevant? I don't need to. Herman switches. Okay. 
get rotation, play animation, delay, enable input, elevator up. Yeah, I could probably make the elevator a bit more responsive by putting it before the delay. Now that I'm looking at the code. Oh, well. Maybe we will, maybe we won't. Um, okay, so we take interact. We can go ahead and copy that. We can paste it because I put our interface in there. Okay. We got interact. And we can flip flop. But again, we can sequence that. Actually, that's gonna bug me. Let's fix that right now. Okay. Go right before the delay. We can sequence. We'll elevator up. That's why the elevator was kind of lagging behind. I was trying to figure out why I was doing that. Elevator down. I'll save that. I mean, I still gotta fix some of that code, but that's all right. Um, character doesn't have a reference. Now that those are the only errors, Hold on. you guys got me paranoid that my audio is not working, so now I'm going to double check that. No, no, no. Okay. It's working. All right. <clears throat> so. I need to grab a thing. I need to grab it from the third person character too. So we're gonna play animation. I wanna pull this from the elevator. What, what did I put on there? Close that. Grab our elevator.
What's up, Kenneth? Yo. All right. So this will bring it up. Maybe I should wait for the delay. Hmm. Yeah. You are eating steak right now. That sounds good. Good, Kenneth. It's all good. I don't expect any of you guys to be in every stream or to be in the stream at all. I just I, I appreciate it when you do drop by. So, you know, thanks thanks for dropping in. Ah, uh, what did I do? Nope. 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 Standard macros. Interesting. Okay. Pop that in. That should be golden. <clears throat> Compile, save. How are you, Kenneth? How are you doing? What it, what it, what it, what it, what's going on in Kenneth's world? Huh? Besides eating steak. Play any Sonic Adventure 2? I only mention that because I've been playing Sonic Adventure 2. It's a good game. Alright. So, Lever 2. Your brother stole a drink without telling your grandma. Oh no. Stole a like what kind of a drink? Like an alcoholic beverage? Or just a regular drink? Just a just a regular everyday drink. I guess th I guess the door doesn't really matter which direction it's facing. Take that. Grow it. Make sure it closes. Alright. It's water. Oh. Well, why does that matter? Why is that a big deal? Oh no. Alright. Yeah. Yeah. Excellent. Oh. Did he get in trouble for it? like an expensive water? I don't understand the issue, I guess. At least he's staying hydrated. He needs to tell his grandma. He needs to tell grandma. Hydration's important, grandma. I had to. For my health. Alright. I know you're still in my walls, Kenneth. And I wish you'd get out. I wish you'd find some other walls to inhabit. But you know what? I've accepted it. I've, you know, I've grown, I've grown to live with you being in my walls. 
and I, I realize that I can't stop you. I can't stop you from being in my walls. If you want to be in my walls, then, you know, that's, that's just where you're going to be. I can't control you. All right. I'm going to switch to my work, my, my non-work classes. Wish has not come true. Well, like I like I said, you know, I've 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 learned to live with it. Also, I'm gonna give a shout out because I just got a Discord message and it reminded me. So, um, I also follow another cool indie dev uh, duo on on Twitch. Uh, Hot trash. They have. Oh, they're live now. They are live now. Um, you can you can check them out on YouTube too. Um, they're really awesome. Let's uh, these damn ads. These damn ads. I heard about L Lol Loli, Loli. They're awesome. Yeah, so go check them out. They do a. Uh, they work in a different engine. L Loli girl. Lo-fi girl. Lo-fi girl is awesome. Oh wait, what? What was that? Tomatoes. I have the ability to throw tomatoes on the screen. Whoa. All right. All right. We're uh, back to what I was doing. Lo-fi girl is awesome. If you're into lo-fi music, I mean it's it's really chill. Um. Lolly girl. I like Lolly girl though. Alright. So we're gonna take our door. We're gonna, we're gonna position it. The gecko music too? Gex? Have you played Gex? That there, that that is a fun game. The, I'm assuming you're talking about the soundtrack I uploaded. But Grandmama, I need to be hydrated. Yes, Gex is fun. It's an old game. Everybody's streaming right now. Alright, so we're gonna go throw this thing in the cave. It's gonna be so far away from where you would think it would be. We'll put it we'll put it we'll put it here, as a matter of fact. I'm gonna put it, uh, just this conspicuous little switch at the end of the tunnels. Alright. 
I'm gonna put him BRB. Off he goes. Off Kenneth, Kenneth goes. BRB in. I don't. I'm gonna. I'm gonna put it. I'm gonna put it over here. bring it out just a little bit some more about there all right there we go so we got it looks like my rats moving for no apparent reason anymore I'm gonna add some more of those guys all right, so now it's streaming to rain. It's starting to rain heavy. Well, I wish I, w I lived where you live because I, I love the rain. I love to love to watch it. I love to uh, I, I like to just sit outside and look at the rain. Is that weird? Rain's like my my favorite weather. Just just send the rain over here, Kenneth. Just do that for me, all right? Just throw it this way, this way, and that way. Just do it. Do it for me, Kenneth. I need it. No, it's not S. Well, as long as it's not S. It's not... It's not weird. Oh, okay. As long as it's not weird. Off he goes. It's Kenneth, Kenneth has the zoomies right now. Zooming. All right, so I got a, I got a few things done. All right, so now we're gonna make sure I can open that that gate over there by finding a completely unrelated switch somewhere way way out in the middle of nowhere. fix. No, do not update this right now. Pick, pick a time. Yeah. There we go. Alright. Nope. It's not over here. It's further down. Did it come? I don't know. I'm in a basement surrounded by window wells. I can't really see. Maybe. I'm gonna say yes. I'm just gonna say yes, you, you managed to get the rain here. Um, and we'll just go with that. Alright, Kenneth. I gotta fix that. That ain't right. Alright, I was, uh... Why am I so far away? Oh. I have to move that switch. So, we can show our collision, because the cave collision is kind of terrible. Move the switch that way. Move 
move our floor. Can you say something in chat, please? Oh, yes. Kenneth, I can... I can say all of the things in chat. I can say it all. But, you must wait until I'm satisfied with this floor's position. And I am. So, uh, I will say something. There you go. I said something in chat. Alright, so now I'm not off position for that. And as a bonus, as, a, as an added bonus, that gate's open now. Look at that. We can get in there. That's, that's what are we doing, baby? Yeah. All right, so the gate opens. Um, we now have a lot more maneuverability. I can finally get to. How did meet you again? Um, shorts, probably. How did you meet me? I'm assuming. And my guess would be you, you probably found one of my shorts and dropped by my stream. That's how most people find me. Alright, but we'll jump in here. Right? We can finally get up to that platform. And that's bugged. I don't know why they're doing that. That's an old bug that I, I thought I solved. Uh, swinging also has some issues. So we go. create more indication on how you can tell you're further out and how you're going to get the best job. Kind of like how Sonic did it where it's like, you're zooming fast, too fast. Good lord. Too many zoomies. Now you can actually, you can miss that and still make the ledge. But I think I might want to raise that one. We can get up there. It's the first time we've been, been able to access this area. So that's good. And then... We've got... This area up here where we can finally get onto that large tree stump up there. Oh god. Almost dead. See how hard this is while I'm in in inebriated. This is actually fairly difficult. Okay. Okay. See, these aren't bugged. I don't know why those other ones are doing it. It's so weird. 
wonder if it's positioned to... This music kind of reminds me of Rama. A really old uh, singing majigger. Up. So we can finally get up here. Just go. Um, we can start building that gate. I think that's what I'm gonna do today. Uh, I wanted to do a cave down there. Make sure our elevator works the way it's supposed well, kind of the way it's still got bugs, but elevator goes up and it's still a little buggy. But the lever down here should move it down. Okay, we'll raise it up. I don't want to fly. Go ahead, drop down. Let's try to get back up to the top. Oh, too far. I did that wrong. I'm dumb. I'm being dumb. I gotta lower the elevator and try to... Uh, whatever. Okay, so... Drop that. Let's try that again. Buggy as hell, a little jank, but, uh, you know, it'll do. It'll do-do. Alright. Uh, let's start working on this. Uh, let's start working on blocking this off. We can turn off collision. What was this called? MC opening. Let's go find that file. Acropolis um, name. MC opening. I believe that's it.
Okay. So that's loading. The other thing I want to do is I want to fix the textures on the lift. So I need to raise the color of the gears, make them lighter. That opening. Oh. Open this. Okay. Now, what I want to do. I want to create Yeah So we're going to create a drawbridge um, We'll do it By creating some wood planks Drop it in and out just a little bit. All right, we can take uh, take all of our edges. We can go ahead and bevel those. Maybe drop it a little bit. enough to hit the back there. In fact, we're going to make some sort of uh, kind of bearing system along the bottom there. Um, yeah, okay. So... Select all of them. Nope, 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 nope. There we go. Select all of those. We combine. Shrink them. Make sure we're about where we want to be. Right about there. So I'm gonna take this whole thing and we're gonna do that. Alright, now we can't select it. So we'll move that in. OK. 
Okay. And we want to rough up our mesh, so we're going to add a few random edge loops. Kind of scattered throughout the mesh. Just a little bit. Yes. Okay. So, we'll take all of our edge loops. We will need to bevel them. Add a third segment. stuff like this. We'll grab that, bring it in. Okay, just kind of rough up the wooden planks ever so slightly. somewhere on one of these lines. Okay. It's looking good. do the same thing along the top and bottom. Okay. Select our edges. Need the bevel. Add a segment. of them. Okay. Gonna hit this one. Beautiful. I'll hit that one. And we'll just we'll call that good for the most part. What we're going to do is we're going to create a railing for that it to be on, basically. So we will uh, delete that. I want a cube, so we're going to create a cube, shift select, find a good dimension that works for us. We can actually just take this, zero that out. Find it, move it. Okay. And we'll go 
go ahead and insert an edge loop here. We'll move that one over there. Take our face. Shrink that out a little bit. Something like that. Get our three. Okay, that's not bad. I do want the actual end of this to be a lot more um, sharp. So we can achieve that by beveling. Pretty good. Good five, three, three W. We're just gonna kinda grow it out about that big. I'm gonna make sure we're kind of dead center with the the door here. Good. All right. Take that. Oh, okay. Now we're going to open another file. Find our door. Door and switch. Find our door. this okay we're gonna deselect those deselect that and uh, I'm gonna export selection OBJ, so we just need the mesh information. So from there, we can go ahead and import. Go find that information. Necropolis main. Go to gate. Back, you commented on my vid. Nice. Which one? There's a lot of them. Soldera Gate Hardware. Okay. I'm going to combine those. And I'm going to make that a lot bigger. We'll rotate by 90. Not 990, but 990. Thank you for the support. Oh, good. Those those do those do get deleted every day. 
just just a heads up. All right, so what happens if I zero that? Yeah, that's that's about where I want it. All right. Take that. Move it back just a little bit. In fact, I kind of shrink it. That's. We don't want. We don't want too much of a height differential on this because this is going to be something the player can walk on. Um, and also. We're going to grab that, and grab that, we're going to extract faces. Oh, okay. So we'll take that and we'll go ahead and do that to that. We're going to do that. Take these edges, and combine, and make them just a little bit wider. And grab the ends of them. I'm going to extrude inward. Okay. Now I'm going to take. Uh, whoops. Take those same edges. Maybe, maybe about right there. All right, and then we're gonna extrude inwards like that. We're gonna try to flatten that out. Okay. Take those, bevel that out. Something like that. And, uh, yeah. Soften these edges. Okay. All right. Now, It seems as though Well, I mean that's I'm pretty sure that's well, let's let's grab everything. Alright, because this doesn't look completely centered to me. If I'm being honest. Okay, that's looking good. All right. Now, we're going to take this, I'm going to drive it all the way down there. Set this up by vertices and drop it right there. We need to build a chain. So 
we're gonna do that. You know me, I always start with cubes. I'll delete that. Oh. I'm gonna delete that. Turn off snapping. Try that again. Okay. Start with a cube. I'll make it about that big. This wide. And then I'm gonna take that. Extrude it in. Somewhere about there. Now take all of our edges. Go ahead and bridge. Okay. Three. edges and a bevel we had a segment uh, I really don't want to add too much detail to these because they can get kind of expensive all right but we can go ahead and add that Ideally, I don't subdivide this. So we'll take we'll take the inside, we'll extrude inward, like so. Take the outside, extrude outward. Okay. Let's soften edges. That's not bad. What? 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 Come here. Side. We'll just kind of shrink it in. Give it a little shrinky dink. Maybe even shrink that out. And then we'll grab these faces. Just a little bit. There we go. Beautiful. Okay. Do that. Ninety. Shifty. Shifty. We'll just make our chain like so. Probably more than what we need. So we'll combine those. Okay. Uh, 
I am gonna take my rotation. We're gonna zero that. We are going to move our pivot to the end of the chain. Okay. We're gonna take it and move it up here. Okay. We want it to be able to fit inside of that. Alright. So now we want to do line that up over so slightly this is one of those scenarios where it's easier to animate backwards than it is the other way around our pivots so we're going to be moving along the same axis and we'll clone all right and that's gonna that's gonna be that's gonna be a tricky one because we're on a slope to line our edge loops up. Okay. Alright. Now, we can break our link right here. Delete everything past that point. Separate. And take you. Center pivot. Thicker. We can insert edge loops right about there, right about there. Okay. And delete. No. Select all of these. And I can remove that. Okay. Take these. Flatten that out. And go back to. Geometry. Go down there. Go down there. Uh, we can go along component. Res well, reset and go along component. Want to rotate that just a little bit. Thicken out that. Go ahead and pull you in. Move you that way. Shrink it out. Okay. 
Okay. Make sure we're not sticking out of the the front of that. Okay. Select everything else on the chain. Except the door, we'll go ahead and combine. Whoa! I need to... Okay. Get our chain. We need to set our pivot to a zero point. Okay. And we can duplicate and scale. Okay. Clearly, you're just a hair off, so we'll center pivot. Clipping through. Go ahead and we have our door. Beautiful. I think. Combine all of this. All right, we're gonna go into UVs. Um, so all we're gonna we're gonna we're gonna manually do some of these UVs. The camera base that we're gonna split it there. Can unfold. Beautiful. Okay. We'll take this guy. We're going to camera base. And I'm just going to try to unfold it. And that's fine. Okay, do the same thing here, hammer base, unfold. Alright, so I think it's all, yeah, it's all completely separate, so what we want to do, thanks for the hearts. What we want to do is select these little guys right here without selecting any of the chains. have UVs 
and we can combine those. So we'll go ahead and combine. These... I'm going to send into ZBrush to get UV'd. So I don't want to bother with those. Those are all unique. Alright, chains are fairly easy. I'll take one. UV. Camera base. Just cut it here. Grab that. It's Friday. Where are all you views? I uh, I don't know, man. I've been, I've been lacking. People people be leaving me in the dust. Ain't, uh, you know, I'm falling off. Becoming a relic. It's alright though. I'm still just on my grind. We be doing it, Nanners. How are you? Hope you're having a great day. Happy Friday. So, I'm just gonna go through. I think I think Kenneth's Kenneth's in here. I'll say like my, my streams haven't been doing as well, but never back down, never surrender. Give up. I don't, I don't remember what the second verse was. What have you been up to, Nanners? Did you have a good day? I had a migraine and had to leave work early. And then I slept for a few hours. And now I'm streaming. That was my day. Give up. Okay. Good. Good. I, I think I, I think I got it on the first try, which means I'm good. But I almost assaulted a kid yesterday. Jeez, why? Are they being a dick? They deserve it? They probably deserved it. Second try. Oh, okay. I got it, though. None can refute that it was gotten by me. kid do they must have deserved it uh, shift x go to uv shell go to unfold take that grab that Uh, tra transfer attributes even ran around the corner and got his knees and did something that I'm not sure if I can even say in chat I mean you could say anything in chat base 8 okay Still not sure, but so sounds like they deserve it. All right, so we're gonna export that and go find our file. Uh. 
wood. There's an OBJ. YouTube is filtering. Can you DM me? Yeah, you can DM me. You got me on uh, Discord, right? How is YouTube filtering you? You're a, you're a mod. You should be able to say anything. You should be able to. Doesn't mean you can. Why do you leave the server? Just stay in the server. You goof. Just, just stay, just stay in the server. It's okay. We don't fight. We don't bite at all. It's okay, neighbors. It's okay. Alright. So I'm gonna open up ZBrush. Just not very active. Well, I mean, I'm not either. You just don't... Uh, I'm, I'm, I'm just saying, like, you don't have to, like, conscientiously take the extra effort to, like, Remove yourself from the server and rejoin if you need to. You can just stay in the server and not be active. That's that's like 90% of the server. Is is what I was getting at. Yeah, honestly, man, I probably would have done the same. Uh, I don't blame you. I don't blame you one bit. He deserved it. He done deserved it. It's official. in school there was a kid that uh was like choking out my best friend over like some fucking dodgeballs like he wanted to carry the bag and my friend was carrying them so he started choking out uh my friend and i like i i, I pulled him off of him and then just like I, I wasn't fighting him or anything he started choking me and uh I got called to the principal and they fucking suspended me. And I was like, I didn't fucking do anything. This is stupid. Where did I... Hold on. Let me go ahead and close that. Oh, what's up, Faison? Thanks for dropping in, man. How are you? No, you're good. Here, let me, uh, I'll give you mod. 
Hope you're having a good Friday. I've been like super invested in your fucking Sonic, it, uh, you know, uh, journey. You got me. You got me back into Sonic Adventure too. Started playing that again. There you go, bro. Now you won't get uh, pestered by my AI. Yeah, isn't that stupid? That... Back to the beginning, he was talking about my mom. Yeah. I don't know, dude. Kids are crazy in school. Absolutely crazy. <sighs> you gonna play Sonic at all? So, I started... Um, when I started, I was doing a lot of Let's Plays, and uh, I just, I have so much, like, development stuff that I need to do if I want to get this demo out at the end of the year, so I'm predominantly focusing on that. But I've been, pl I've been playing Sonic Adventure 2 uh, whenever I get the chance. I just got to the, uh, the final act where you gotta play as all the characters. Oh, that's a that's a fun little vertice right there. Let's fix that. I might I might get back into doing let's plays. I just I don't I work a full time job, so I don't, I don't really have a whole lot of time or as much time as I'd like to. Yeah, everybody check out Faison Tundra. He does, uh... He does videos about Sonic. Um... He's a really chill, chill dude. I gotta, I gotta, I gotta put you up on my, uh... Featured creators, too. I keep meaning to do that. You know what, I'm gonna do that right now. Do you do Twitch at all, Faison, or is it just YouTube? Do I have audio coming from somewhere? I don't think so. Okay. Let's go ahead and throw you up there. Canyon's core, dude. So you saw and seeing game development. Nah, just you two. Cannons, yeah, Canyon's core. I don't th like. I just started it, so I don't think I'm. Is the whole uh, maybe the whole level is called Cannon's core? I don't remember. So you saw and seeing game development, no, just YouTube. Okay, well, I'll, I'll throw you up on YouTube then. Let me, uh... Yeah, I, uh... I'm an indie dev. I've been doing this for a long time. And, uh, this is kind of my first major project. Uh, I, I put together a bunch of prototypes after I finished, uh, college. You can check those out on at datafabrications.com, or I think I got them somewhere hidden in my channel. I have to because it's all links from YouTube. But uh, yeah, doing a 3D platformer for the channel. I kept meaning to do that, but I kept forgetting. Uh, yeah, so I'm, I'm indie indie, like I'm, it's solo development. Um, the game's called Grim. It's like a, 
like a dark humor 3D platformer similar to Conker's Bad Fur Day with some like... Not like full-on Souls elements, but some like like Dark Souls inspiration. Um, I'm trying to get the demo out by the end of the year. Uh, which will include the first level, a few bosses, uh, some story stuff. Uh, and I'm on track to do it, but you know, we'll, we'll see. Because it is, it is just me, and I do this in my free time. Uh, there's, so, there's some information on my website. If you go to... There's a link to it in YouTube, but... Uh, datafabrications.com I've got some some information on it that isn't anywhere else stuff like that but yeah I checked out that that m and m painting that was pretty sweet It was, I mean, it was kind of, kind of blurry because I think you were showing it over your phone or whatever. But it looked pretty legit. What am I doing? Okay, so that, that needs to get UV'd. So we're gonna import from Necropolis main gates wood. We've got these. Oh, uh, let's not use that. Let's re-import that because I made some stuff. Yeah, here in a second, let me... Actually, you know what? Hold on, let me just... Do Conquer Meet Souls? Hell yeah. That's dope you're doing it on your own. Yeah! <laughs> it's a lot of work, man, but... Yeah, I'll kind of... I'll run around for you for a minute. Um, right now, I mean, none of the lighting's built, uh, so we just got some assets going. Um, kind of building out the world. I've got an AI, I don't know where the fuck he went, though. Usually hangs out around here. Um, you know, you'll get guns, you can kind of... Kind of shoot around. Um, instead of like Estes flasks, you have like beer. And you can kind of overdo it. So if you like spam heals, you get pretty trashed. Uh, I'll let that clear. Uh, you'll be able to, like, kind of take control of enemies, which I don't have any of that code set up yet. Um, you have, like, bombs, you can summon minions. He's supposed to follow me, he's being dumb. Whatever. Um. Yeah, I'm just gonna show you around the level a little bit. So, you know, still still work in progress, uh, but we do be going. I keep getting hit by that. See a couple areas you can kind of get into. Still kind of jank. I've got, I've basically like been building things, getting it to work, and I'm like, okay, fuck that. You know, I'll just get everything kind of situated after that. Um, yeah, so we do that. 
Uh, you're not kind of bound to this character. You'll be able to change out all your characters. Or basically, like, any NPC you come across, you'll be able to... Redo. Is this a free game when it's finished, or...? Uh, so the plan is to release it in early access, uh, for $15, and then once the game's finished, it'll go to 30 but, um, it's gonna be, it's gonna be a fairly cheap game. Uh, you know, I gotta, I gotta recoup development costs somehow. I wish I could make it free, but I really don't want to add a bunch of microtransactions into it, uh, to kind of subsidize that. But, uh, yeah, I mean, hit, hit, hit me up if you, if you want to, like, do it on stream or, like, kind of promote me a little bit, I, I might throw you a code. Uh, kind of the plan, the plan is Q4 this year. We'll, we'll see how, how well that goes. Um... But yeah, and then, you know, you'll, you'll come across PCs, you can... can change stuff out. Right now I don't have all of that situated, but I can change it out using character ID. So, I've got a few different characters you can play as. I think two... Two's a... Naked skeleton, three is different. Yeah, so this dude kind of gives you armaments and uh, has you shoot a bunch of crows. Oh, there, yeah, there's the AI. Oh no, man! It's it's all good. I, I can I can I can throw your review copy if you want, or if you want to support. Um. Yeah, so you can kind of change your characters out. Uh, I got like a female variant for the main character. We got her. We've got. Uh, there's a merchant in this game called Nutjob Nikki. He's kind of a squirrel. I need to do some texture work on him, but. He owns a shop up here. Which that's still getting work done. Right now I'm kind of blocking off all the other level areas. Um, just kind of getting all that set up. But yeah, man, you know, I, I stream pretty regularly, so. Love to see you drop by. Okay, I didn't fix that. I got sidetracked. So we want to go back in and re-export that wood. Export selection, wood, export. Yeah, I mean, it's, 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 it's really not going to be a super expensive game. The plan was to like kind of build like a single player. There's going to be what is that? Uh, two, four, six, eight, nine levels total. Um, 
And then once the single player is done, it'll kind of stay at $15 until... Uh, I was going to put a multi multiplayer together after that or try to do a multiplayer. I don't know how well that's going to work. So we re-export that. back into this we will re-import under a new sub tool because that's going to jack up the position so we'll go find our wood gate wood Export wood save. Uh -huh, you got more. You're always busy, but they keep kicking job. But keep. I think a PvP would be dope. Looking at the character your operations. Yeah. You got a more. You're always busy. Yeah. So, you know, everybody's got their grind, man. <clears throat> um, yeah, multi I think multiplayer would be pretty fun. I don't know exactly what I'd end up doing with it. I want to, like, like kind of recreate Conquer's multiplayer. Like the from the N sixty four. I think that'd be fun. Acropolis main. Replace it. Oh wait. Did I export or import that? There we go. Okay. Sweet. So we can soften edge, combine everything. We're just going to take our shells, start positioning them, and take both of these. Kind of move that down. You there. There's our chains. We'll grab all of those. Hopefully, not crash the program. We'll just shrink those down. That's a fairly small asset. Don't need a whole lot of detail there. You are also about the same size. Drop those. What's up, CZ? You never explained. What's going on? Do you have... So you're creating all these assets, which is awesome, but what program engine are you using for this? So oh, yeah, Conquer and Light. So Live and Reloaded would be pretty awesome, but I was talking about, like, uh, Bad Fur Day's multiplayer, like the original game's multiplayer. I enjoyed that a little bit more. I'm also, I'm using Unreal, f I'm using a lot of programs. So I'm using, um, okay, hold on. I got two things going on. CZ, do you have access to your main account still now? I mean, I would assume so. You said hi, but I don't, I don't know. And I don't understand why YouTube even removed you and didn't explain anything. That's insane. I'm sorry. Um, okay, good. At, at least you got those back. And then to a answer your questions, Faison, um, so I use, I use a lot of programs. I use, uh, let's, okay, I can close that. So I use FL Studios and Audacity for audio. 
Um, I use Premiere and Photoshop for like basic graphics. I use ZBrush, Substance, and Maya for all my 3D design stuff, and then I run it under uh, the Unreal Engine 5. Or I guess you said Engine, so I probably could have just answered I uh, use Unreal 5. But, uh, yeah. But yeah, I, I, everything's made from scratch. Uh, yeah. CZ got his his channel taken down from YouTube without like a warning. They were just like, "You've committed like severe." Uh, policy violations and we're gonna remove your channel and then like a day later they were like oh yeah it turns out you didn't violate anything so here's your channel back and I didn't like they didn't explain like what they were even referencing in terms of the violations they just pulled his whole channel down which is in insane I don't I've just at least, like, explain, like, oh, yeah, well, you know, you're, you were spamming, or you were doing this. No, just... Oops, are bad. <sighs> yeah, I mean, I, I think if I do something similar to Conquer, it would just do well because there's there's a, a market need for it in terms of like no developers. I know, that's so dumb, dude. I don't understand it. But like even even Rare's kind of gone on record and said, well, I don't like we're not in the same mindset anymore, so we don't know if we can do another one. But it's it's such a cult classic. between the channels and them super rare i i've gone back to using those it's really raining heavy kenneth i told you send it over here i want the rain send me the rain all right yeah no i feel you it's i don't even really just like so cz's got almost like 5k no, I agree. I'm amped for your game, dude. Yeah, I'm excited that you finally dropped by my stream, man. <laughs> like, I've been sitting there, like, I'll watch your videos usually when I'm, like, on my treadmill. Or, uh, at work, kind of driving, just because I... I was so invested in, like, Sonic Adventure and just kind of watching your chows grow up. I'm like, man, this is... this is dope. But, uh, yeah, I always wanted to get one of those, uh, I guess they're called Chaos Chows, where they're, like, all maxed out and stuff, and I just, I never did. So, I, I think I'm gonna try to go for them. But, yeah, CZ has, like, 5k subscribers, and he's been working on this channel, like, really hard, and then YouTube's just, like... Yeah, sorry, you violated all our content. They just, like, removed his channel. For like a like a day but like didn't tell him anything which is stupid it's so dumb all right so for six hours you guys go subscribe to phase and tundra he does some pretty cool videos If you like Sonic. Right? He did a Halo video too. Uh, CZ does a lot of indie games. Like, uh... 
um, usually like FNAF or stuff like that. No, do subscribe to CZ. CZ's dope. CZ was my first subscriber. And then Kenneth, he does, uh, he does random videos. But he's in my walls. Your Wi-Fi is so bad from the rain? Well, you know, just... Just send the rain over here, Kenneth. Alright, just get out of my walls. And send the rain to me. And I'll take the rain, and I'll be happy. And we can all win. Yeah, it sounded like they were done effing with him. They, uh, they basically, like, sent him a, a message and said, Oh, yeah, our bad. You didn't violate anything. And, like, returned everything. Like, I, somebody had, like, there had to be, like, a mass report on his channel. They absolutely had to. There, there was, like... You know, like, what I think happened is, so, like, people mass-reported his channel, and then, like, whoever's job it was to review it just decided not to actually do their job. And then when he disputed it, somebody had to go back in and look at it and be like, oh, well, I don't understand what the issue is. That's the only thing I can think of. It's just, it's so dumb. It's raining cats and dogs, I hope not. Alright, so we're gonna go new, we'll select our mesh. Go find that. And see main and gate. Grab our FBX and we can import. Okay. So we're gonna go ahead and delete this. Move that over there. Drop all these down. Yeah, that was a, that was a crazy situation. I, it it kind of freaked me out because me and him do the same thing to like try to get views, just like spam an audio. And we were both freaking out, like, oh god, did we did we violate their like spam policy or something? So I, I deleted a bunch of those videos. Well, I've gotten into the habit of deleting those videos uh, after a day just because people were complaining about them. It's alright, Kenneth. You're young. You can... If you want to grow your channel, you know, you can kind of decide what you want to do. Ain't no need to figure things out right now. You're just here, you're in my walls. And uh, that's, that's good enough. Oh god, those are all di- okay. Like, something's wrong. Alright, so we're gonna do new material. Somebody had to have reported you, dude. There- there's no way that it was anything else. Alright, so... Yeah, I like doing it. I mean, you know, it's like... And especially kind of early on, if you just kind of treat it as a... Uh, just... 
just something to do for fun. God, how did how did you yeah? Yeah, so apparently like yeah, there's like a there's a spam policy and it's like super vague. So it doesn't like explain a whole lot. So we were thinking that like we were both violating it and we we were kind of freaking out a little bit, but I don't know. But yeah, I mean, you know, it, as a hobby, I think it's it's really fun to like do YouTube. I've met a lot of really cool people through this, uh, through streaming. Like, I've met a bunch of really cool developers. Uh, I mean, virtually all of them are on Twitch. And then I, I've met some really cool uh, people in my YouTube chat, too. Um, so I, I think I, th I think it's cool. You kind of build a community. You're, you can kind of talk to people. I think starting like like starting from ground one, kind of where you're at, Kenneth. It, it seems a little daunting, and like you're not sure what you want to do, but you know. Like the main local idiot, yeah. And see, gate, Matt. And we export that. Felix, where are you going? Come back here. Okay, replace that. Gonna discard that. Reopen it. You've known me for nine months. I know. You're the first legitimate, like, follower I've gotten. CZ met me when I was streaming Elden Ring a, a while ago. And he, he was he was there through my divorce, and uh, he's the one that kind of inspired me to to get on top of like streaming and, and content creating and. I really appreciate that, man. It's 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 helped me through a, a really tough time in my life. And yeah. Yeah, you know, I've made a bunch of like really awesome friends through this. So. And content creation as long as you're not like getting too wrapped up and like oh well, I gotta I gotta succeed and I gotta make money make my day better by making me laugh good I try to I try to be funny Like me, me and me and Faison go back and forth on on Sonic Talk a lot. It's just yeah, it's nice, kind of building a community. I enjoy it. Like, like yesterday, I met a really cool developer on, uh, um, Twitch called August 16th. Uh, he's, he's kind of in the same boat as me, but, like, he does it full time and he, his work's really impressive. I'd probably be at that stage if I, if I didn't have a full time job, but, you know. It is what it is but yeah he's he's really he's really cool we were talking yesterday he was showing me a lot of stuff about unreal 4 or unreal 5 yeah slipknot's dope
Yeah, we're all we're all metalheads here. Although I don't I don't listen to a whole lot of music too much anymore. I just kind of watch content. But. Slipknot's pretty dope. I'm 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 more old school. I like like Iron Maiden and Disturbed. Uh, I mean, Iron, Iron Maiden is my favorite. Okay. Let's do that. I mean, that's... Like CC. <laughs> These are talking about stuff I have no idea about. CC. The Creative Cloud? Same, in the punk as well. Alice in Chains, yeah. Alice in Chains is pretty dope. Um, you guys heard of Van Canto? They're, they're an acapella metal group. Metallic up. I need specular. That's what's gonna throw me off. Okay. Yeah, punk's pretty good. I I don't listen to a whole lot of punk. I do like a lot of lo-fi jazz. Um, like, I mean, I listen to everything to be honest. If it's good, I, I'll, I'll listen to it. Never really got into like screamo though. Do brushes. Default hard. And this may not translate right. Find out. Lincoln Park's good. I just couldn't get into it. I don't know why. First minor was too short for me. Oh, what got me into lo-fi was new tubes from say so yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's kind of where I started too. I was just like really into Samurai Champlo uh, a while ago. Then I got into like Lo-Fi Girl and stuff like that. And... Fort Minor, oh, Fort Minor was too short. Fort Minor was a good song. I was really into like conscious rap too. I don't know if you guys listen to rap. But like Dan Lesac, um, Sage Francis, uh, Odium Relic. Muggins on you. Guys are talking about stuff I don't know. Muggins. Yeah, I wasn't sure what that was. Muggins. TX2. I don't know what I'm doing. I'm not gonna look up random stuff. 
I'm gonna get in trouble. All right. We can, uh, we call that good. Oh. Mugen. I couldn't tell that that's what that was. God, I sh I probably should have pieced that together. Just put T T X two, okay. T X two. I mean, I'm obviously not gonna. Oh, is this dude? I uh. I don't like this guy for sh for whatever reason. I don't, I don't like that. I I've I've seen a few of his music videos. I just I something about that dude just rubs me wrong. And I I think that's just the aesthetic he's going for, but I don't know. I'm probably I'm I'm probably being dumb, but all right. So we go in here. We're gonna go ahead. Do yeah, his music actually isn't that bad. I don't have an issue with his music. I have, I, I just have like this weird, deep-seated, like personal issue with the way he looks. I, <laughs> I don't even know why. Like I actually, yeah, I, I don't have an issue with his music. That's not that's not why I dislike it. It's it's there's a super su superficial reason I, I don't like that that singer. Uh, and I'll acknowledge that it's stupid, but. It, it do be what it do be, and, uh, yeah. Okay, I need to delete these. I want this. Do I even need to up the resolution? Yeah, we'll do... We'll do 2K, and in fact, I am going to uh, deselect this one, and we will duplicate, and black mask, and drop in. No, I get it. I love Heat Pete, but I not sure if I'd like the guy himself, you know. But art's art, right? Yeah. Yeah. I don't know, like something about him just seems like super pompous. I, I guess is my issue. Like, it, I just, I, I don't think he's very down to earth, but it, yeah. I don't know. I, I could be wrong, you know? So we're gonna rotate this by 90. No, he makes... He's not pop. Who said he was pop? I don't think nobody said... Nobody said he was pop. Where... It's on here. 
with the wood fibers, but the wood fibers are done. Ooh. Okay, there we go. That's how I. Okay. Yeah, I know. I know. I made uh, metal and emo. I mean, I'm a, I'm a huge Panic at the Disco fan, so like, I. It's not really the metal or emo that like b bothers me. It's just. I don't know. I don't have a good reason. All right, so we export that. Get all of our textures. Excellent. So, since this fits on to this, we need to we need to do a few things. All right. First off. Uh, Center. Reset. Okay. Reset. I need to make sure we have a light map. I need to soften edges. And then this has to be kind of towards that zero value. Otherwise, manipulating it in engine is going to be a bitch. Okay. So we got that. Chains. I don't know. I mean, the an animation is going to happen so fast. I don't know if it matters. But yeah. We're just going to do a simple squash and stretch. Real ugly, but it'll, it'll work. pop off got a movie date with a girl keep up the kicking job man had a blast on here awesome man thanks for dropping in um you know keep those sonic videos coming no idea why i enjoy having them but uh you know have fun on your date enjoy your movie thanks for dropping in thanks for watching man don't redact all your messages cz it's okay gotta go full secret agent on us all right I'll grab you I need to go to display keep it lit keep it 100 there we go animations joint size Make it like 200. There we go. You can see our joints. So, I need to make a few joints. Okay. Grab that. We will drop it there. That'll be our master. God, that's going to be kind of a bitch to do, isn't it? I think the best thing I can do... Is we can...
I'm going to have to create a few joints. So I'll drop one there. Drop one there. Maybe go more this side. That one and that one. Okay. Should be able to pull them back in. Chains are a little difficult. It's going to throw me off a little bit. So make sure those are visible. I'm going to do gates, NC gates, rots, NC gates. behind our main okay and then we'll take our rod and we'll also put that behind our main okay and take that and select all of our joints Select all of our joints. Select that. And uh, rigging. Fine skin. Awesome. Okay. So. I need to make some controls. And we also need to fix the skin weights. So on rotation, I'm just going to select I'm just going to turn off joints I'll grab face chains
Okay. Those all get rigged under here. Alright, so now this phone. Should have full influence of our gate. What's up, Shta? Welcome back. How are you today? Hope you're doing well. I I do, but not super well. I'm, I'm gonna be honest. Did you change your name or was it out? No. I remember Shta. I remember making it. Did you change your name? You have mods, so I know you've been here before. Raunchy platformer. Yeah. Yeah, the raunchy platformer. Stream name changed a little bit. Alright. I started then. Yeah. I, th I think it's been it's been a minute since you've been been in. How have you been? You doing well? Oh, you know. Sitting that's probably not helping. Good. Good. I'm glad you're doing well. I knew these chains were gonna be a pain in the ass. Working on a 2D mobile game? Nice. Do you, do you like share any, any of the work that you do on it or just kind of doing it? Sorry, I'm opening a. the premise of it. I think 2D is a really good place to start. Mobile is pretty good depending on your engine. Um, I originally was going to do mobile but I decided against it just because I couldn't get the, uh, the indexes working for uh, my platformer and then I decided, you know, I want to... Uh, Sorry, I'm, I'm also trying to brainstorm how to make these chains work properly. So... I want to take those... Put it on my rotation joint. Okay. So we'll add our values to that. Should probably make some controllers. But yeah, tell me about your mobile game. You should also if you if you share your work anywhere, let me know. I'd love to see it. I started with a lot of 2D stuff, although although my stuff was, was total garbage. It was like asteroid clones and like old school arcade stuff. Not very interesting, uh, to say the least. So... Well, I, I worked with uh, Flash. That's, that's kind of what I got started with. Also, what engine are you using? 
I like talking to people about dev stuff. Oh, okay. Sounds pretty cool. I never really like played Subway Surfers, but I, I watch. I always get caught up watching the like videos of it. Oh, you're not sure what engine yet? I'll say Unreal's pretty good, especially with 2D. Um, I guess it also depends on like how familiar you are with coding, because there are some better options like Godot, uh, Fox. Um, if you're gonna monetize it, I definitely don't recommend Unity because they charge an arm and a leg for profit share. Did I? Oh god. Hold on, I'll be right back. as well. That's what it looks like. Alright, so I gotta create a creation nerves, interactive creation. Did I turn on an inter interactive creation? Welcome back. We left and came back at a similar time. So do you have a lot of experience with uh, game development? Are you uh, kind of trying to dabble in it? I never know what uh, what level somebody's at. So drag on grid. Why is it invisible? Use scratch and uh, I'm really good. Okay. Cool. Is it just massive? What? Also Roblox Studios. Okay. I never, I never really played around with Roblox Studios. I know a lot of my viewers do. I, I mean, it's probably just crazy tiny. That would be my guess. And Unity, sort of, but you don't like it. Yeah, I, I used Unity a little bit. I wasn't really into it. Um, that was back before they introduced like visual scripting and stuff like that, which I felt like helped. Um, but yeah, I don't know. I've been an Unreal diehard for so long. I, I, I don't even... Hold on. Okay. So that is the grid. And that is my... Oh, something happened. Welcome, Popcats3. Thanks for the follow. Much appreciated. Hope your night's going well. I think Unity's pretty sweet, for sure. Uh, well, I'm not a huge... I 
Unreal is what I meant. I think Unreal is pretty sweet. I've been using Unreal since Unreal Engine 3. Uh, this is bugging me. Why, why? Why is this invisible? I mean, it's super unconventional. To, hold on. I'm going to... We're going to save this file. We're going to relaunch Maya. Something's going on. I think I have another viewer that uses Scratch, too. I always recommend kind of picking an engine for your project. Let me look at Scratch real quick. C R A T C H. Yes. Um, uh, yeah, I have. Actually, have a few to do, but uh, God, in Discord they're the animator, but I haven't seen them on YouTube for a little while. I'm sure, I'd be able to pick it out. They're usually pretty busy. Uh, we're gonna save this as NC main gate NC gate Yeah, it's I I mean especially when you're starting out I think it's important to start with something that's that's a little more simple. Um This is this is gonna bug me. Cause like I started with Flash and Flash was incredibly simple. So I can't really fault anybody for Peach Luck. That's what they're called. I haven't seen them in a while. But yeah, they use Scratch a lot. They mainly use it for animating. I don't think they do a lot of like full games and stuff like that. Yeah, I mean, back in the day, Flash was pretty easy to use. Oh, that was before Scratch and Roblox and all that stuff. Okay, so I don't have any of these selected. That's saved. We're going to go ahead and save it again. I'm going to close this. And we're going to reopen. Coolest VTuber model you've seen. Thank you, Pops Cats. I, I try. It's gonna get destroyed at the end of my game and I'll probably make a new one, but uh Yeah. I, I thought I thought it was unique. Not because most most people do other things. But I also wrote the software for this as well, so. I, I appreciate the compliment. Thank you, thank you, thank you a lot. Okay. I should be able to see that we're gonna hide this here's the 
Here's our grid. It's not showing. That's problematic. Is there a... Hold on. My nerve... Objects... Aren't... Showing... Up. Oh, nice. Let's check it out. At the top of the viewport is a menu. View shading, lighting, show. Click on show. Oh, maybe. That was it. Look at that. There we go. Alright, so let's check out the scratch game. Of compliments about my VTuber um, model. It was a doodle I did in college and then turned into an actual model. Let's check it out. Make sure that's muted. And up space. Okay. Scratch dash. Nice. Something happened though. Why wasn't it? Stop jumping! Oh no! Sometimes I find that uh, stuff like that will break with age. I know uh, I have a mud on my website that has a giant error line when you start the game that wasn't there like a few years ago. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and link that there. We are going to clone and clone. We'll take all of these. It might be a browser issue, too. There's no real way of knowing. But yeah, I always recommend starting 2D. 3D is so complicated and tedious and time-consuming. Um, Your code is weird. Okay. It happens. It happens, it happens. Okay. I need to make a master, so we'll go ahead. Drag that out. 
want to differentiate the shape. So we'll grab Transformations, delete history, uh, take our gate, rotate, grab that, go deform, go to rigging, go to constrain, and do orient, and that should. Allow me to do that. Turn that off. Put those under. And that'll be L chain control do O1 O1 I'll actually clone it go up there clone snap to Snap the joint, snap the joint, snap the joint, okay. Okay. Strain. I'm going to do parent. Okay. So, I 
This is where it gets really tricky. I hate myself for doing this. Alright, so we're gonna... Skin... Put a paint skin weights. We'll start with our right control. And that has full control, which we don't want. So we're gonna go... Let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ten chains out, so we can go by divisions of two. We're gonna select our faces. We're gonna grab that. We're gonna give it a hundred percent. All right. We're gonna take this. This is gonna be 80. Okay, come on. 80. Oh, 0.8. Being dumb. Okay. Uh, point six. Point seven, or no, point four. I did this wrong. Do that, deselect joints. Go to chain. Okay. Point two. Oh, that, okay, hold on. I have ten. That actually be divisions of one. So we're gonna go ninety. Oh, you know what we have to do? What we need to do, we need to take the entire mesh. Go here, we're gonna take our gate main, we're gonna flood with zero. We go ahead and lock that so that doesn't get any more um, values. We need to take our, our rotation and uh, Highlights. Gonna highlight everything. Go in there. Deselect all our chains. Chain off. Chain off. Okay. That's gonna be our rotation joint, that's a hundred. Okay. That's good. Now we're gonna... Should be able to shift select. Under gate road. That'll be zero, so. <clears throat> that's golden. Now we can just focus on our chains. So chain, start with chain one. Okay, this will be 100. Okay, and under chain two, chain one, that'll be 0.9. And we're gonna take chain two and give it 0.1 and just double check okay so best way for us to do this 
is go two one. You fix the code. Let's check it out. Check it out. It's like, uh, what is this game called? What is? There we go. Nice. I forget what the game's called. It's uh. I'm not collecting the coins either. Like the collision's really. Hold on. Collision's a little off on the coins. Reminds me of that one game though. I forget what it's called. What happens if I take a cube? Oh no. There's no game over. Oh, that's interesting. You can use your middle mouse wheel to jump too. Bro, uh, I'll tell you, you throw me your game project, I, I usually break it in half. Don't, don't feel too bad. Alright, so we set that to one. And we can go over and set this to point one. And that should give, okay. So that's how we have to go about doing this. So this will be all the way at one. We're gonna set that to point two. Point two. Okay. We're gonna set it to one. And uh, that'll be point three. Three. Okay. This will be all the way at one. And then we can go point four. Okay. We got set that to one. Do point five. Okay, go all the way up, point six, okay, go here, point seven, okay, Point eight. Okay. Point nine. That works. Okay. Let's check that out. For real this time. Through the real reels. What happened in the background? Model's going nice, yeah, thank you. Awesome. Well, the coins are gone. Okay, hold on, no, no, no. I'm back. Don't have any user interface. The coins are gone. What happens if I die? Does it fix it a little bit more? No. What is going on with the background where it like... Is it supposed to happen? Death works.
What is what is that that game's name though? It's like G, G Tree Dash. Is that what it is? Yeah. It reminds me of Geometry Dash. It's pretty sweet. Okay. So this it changes from day to night. Oh, okay, dope. That's cool. What happened to the coins, though? Did you just have to remove them? Okay, so... We got, what, one, two, three, four... Alright, man, thanks for dropping in, thanks for watching, and uh, keep up the good work, man. I'm excited to hear more about your, your, uh, your new game. Gotcha. Yeah, sometimes you got to. But yeah, pop in, let me know how your game's going. Definitely love to see progress. Alright, so one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So eight, two, four, six, eight. Eight of it. Hold on. Calculator. Eight divided by a hundred. Point zero eight. No, that's not the right maths. That's a hundred. this way. That's going to be a hundred. So that's a hundred. Um, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So four will be Five point five. Okay, that'll be a hundred. Well, if that's five, So we'll go gate two, gate three will be point two five, point one, Point one three, and then we'll take you make that a hundred, and that'll be point two five. Okay, and then that'll be. Welcome back, Kenneth. How are you doing? You doing okay? Tell me you're doing okay. I need to know. That will be a hundred. And under here, that'll be good. Uh, point one. That'll be a hundred and point two and 
and that'll be a hundred and point three. Yeah, that'll, that'll have to work. It works better over there. We can uh, go over to skin. Mirror skin weights. Uh, that's X, Y. Negative to positive to apply. Okay, let's try that again. just got back from the movie theater. That sounds like fun. What'd you see? Watching Kenneth. <sighs> All right, maybe I'm doomed to. Just do this. We'll just, I'm just gonna make it. Okay, Elchian Gate 2. We're gonna do that. That'll be point one. I actually don't know why I need both of the chains. It's gonna drive me up the wall. Why can't I just rigging skin mirror skin weights? YZ I 
taxi. Oh my god. Alright. I don't care. We're just... I'm, I'm gonna waste too much time uh, trying to figure that out. I'm just gonna... gonna lock everything. Alright. Gonna close that. Hellgate chain one. Okay. I'm gonna select... I'm gonna select everything. Alright. L chain one. We'll fill it. All of the influences are zeroed now. So. Go L chain one. Chain one at zero. Something ain't right. I'll turn off all of those. I'll take you. I'm gonna pull one hundred. for all of them then. L chain one. And do that. That'll be point one. Okay. L chain L chain one. Do it a hundred. It'll be point two. Okay. Do the L chain one. Do it a hundred. Go point three. Okay. L chain one. Do it a hundred. Go. Point four. Okay, I'll try one hundred point five. I'll try one one hundred. L chain two, 100. All right, this chain is going to be L chain three, 100. All right, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay. 
chain two. center so we'll give it L chain 2 make that a hundred go 0.5 awesome uh, that'll be L chain 2 100 L chain 3 Control over three, that's going to be 0.1. Do full control to three, that'll be 0.2. Full control to three, and that'll be 0.3. same way okay so what we need to do we need to take these and uh, all of our joints so we'll grab that we will export selection as Rim, NC main, go to gate, NC gate.fbx. That's going to be our main file. What's up, Bladder Ice Bear? Bla Blander. Blander Ice Bear, forgive me. I'm a little dyslexic. What happened to the. Twitch Pros. How are you doing today? Happy Friday. Hope, you, hope your day fares well. Okay. So now we have our main file. We can just work with our joints. But in order to do that, we're going to take this asset. This asset, combine it, move it backwards into position, somewhere around here. Okay. So, we turn that off. And we will start creating our animation of this. Let's turn off everything but curves. We will grab all of our curves. We'll set it here. And then we will go ahead and pull it up. Something like that. 
And we can take both of these. Hopefully, those will rotate. Wait. Oh, those are all loose. So what I want to do... Um, L chain one's gonna be the master. L chain two. So L chain two goes under one. L chain three goes under two. Okay, two goes under one. Three goes under two. Okay. Let me kind of position it. We'll take you. We'll take you. We'll pop those up, make sure they're in. All right. Okay, and then we can just highlight all of our nerves. Awesome. And then it's gonna pull down. Oof. Hold on. We'll make sure all of those are set. Oh, what happened? Alright. I done messed up. We're just gonna have to accept... the way that was animated. And that's alright. You go ahead... Position you here. Okay. We'll set that. Um, I think I can. I can do this. Nope. We've got to position. We'll just, oh, yeah, I think that's how I wanted to do it anyway, so that'll work. Okay. Position it. Set that. We can go to fifteen. I'm sure. So I wanted some movement on the chains. I think that's what uh, that's what was going on. Probably 
22. And we will rotate that guy up. Okay. Take these. Move it up like so. Set that. Okay. My copy. <clears throat> we'll put on twenty six, twenty four. Around twenty four. Okay. Just kind of rotate those a little bit. We're real jacked up right at this frame, which we can resolve by selecting both of those, rotating down. We'll take use, rotate that down. Cool. So, I'm gonna go ahead and hide that part. All I need are the joints. We will export selection. This will be NC gate drop. Okay. Don't say that. For the love of God, don't say that. We will save this. Now, go into our level. Um. Open up content drawer. Undock that. Go into content. New folder. NC gate. And we will import everything.
uh, NC main gate will open this and all of that with none should get a skeletal mesh okay well I did get a skeletal mesh so that's good okay beautiful so we take that we can open our material delete it grab our normal gl roughness specular metallic and base do that base color normal roughness Metallic and specular. Okay. We got our nice little asset here. It's looking good. Okay. Oh, we need another animation because I need it to be closed. So, we'll grab all of this. We'll delete everything but 30. No. Delete everything but one. Delete. Grab our bones. Export selection. Gate closed. I will export. Okay. Gonna add a blueprint. This will be an actor. Gate. Uh, NC gate. BP. Awesome. So we'll take our NC gate BP, throw our skeletal mesh in there. Okay. We want both drop and closed. Open NC gate skeleton. That's the correct skeleton. There was no mesh. All right. So we got it closed. We got a drop. Okay. Might even be able to speed that up to 1.5. Okay. 
Okay. Kind of figured it would do that, so... Let me just... Push that forward. Okay. Now, in our BP, we want to make sure we have collisions off, because skeletal meshes do not have great collisions. We'll go ahead and add a box collision. Okay. We will grow that box collision. Lucky the random oxalotl. Hello. Welcome to welcome to the stream. Hope you're having a good Friday. I am working on a drawbridge. Uh currently. So this is something that's probably not gonna be open in the demo, but I do need to give it the ability to be open and set it up so it's uh, movable. So since it's under the gate, we can go ahead and parent it to main gate rotation. Zero out the rotation. And we'll just reposition it. You're an indie game developer as well. Oh, that's awesome, man. Do you uh, upload your work anywhere? Oh, crap. Hit the wrong thing. Sorry, I'm reloading chat for whatever reason. On your website? Let's, let's go look. Problem loading, PR end of file error. Hold on. Let me, let me try it here. Your itch.io, okay. Yeah, I can't get to your website for whatever reason. Itch.io. Oh, yeah, thank you. Lucky the Space Cat, itch.io. Nice! Reverse the rhythm. I'm gonna go ahead and bookmark this. Lucky the Space Cat, itch.io. I'll check out your games uh, when I get some free time tomorrow. Or probably Saturday when I have a day off and can actually play stuff. Maybe after maybe after the stream. I don't know. I have to work tomorrow. <laughs> That's awesome, dude. I uh, oh I get, I'm sorry. I don't mean to assume your gender. Thank you. Yeah, I uh, I definitely try. But, uh, yeah, I'll check out your game. I always... DM, okay. Awesome. Yeah, I always feel weird just because I, I use the term dude just generally. Uh, I always feel bad if I, like, misgender people. But, uh, yeah, th thanks for dropping in. Thanks for showing me, uh... Showing me your work. I always love meeting other developers. Um, checking out their work. Uh, so the the game that I'm working on is called Grim. It's a dark humor 3D platformer. Think uh, Conker's Bad Fur Day meets 
like Dark Souls is the concept. Um, I'm hoping to have an alpha out or the an early access out by the end of the year. Uh, we will see how that goes because it is just me working on the game. Uh, Yeah, so, you know, I, uh, I stream pretty regularly, so if you're new here, definitely hit that follow button. Um, if you'd like to check out more about my game, I do have a website, datafabrications.com. Uh, there is a link on Twitch in my, on my tabs for it, but I've got some extra little tidbits in there for you. And yeah. We'll go ahead, we got our drawbridge. Got out that save. So we got our drawbridge <coughs> positioned. May have to fix the cave. That's all right. Okay. So from there, look, Mark did awesome, man. Thank you. So how's your Friday going? You do anything crazy? Oh, I don't. I want. I want this one. So we'll take this. Um. Take our skeletal mesh. Gonna give it an animation asset. Let the gate closed. And now talk to another YouTuber. You're gonna try and get into doing long form YouTube videos. I I personally suggest, especially if you're doing like development, want to share. Uh, development with people uh, I always suggest doing multi-streaming so I'm streaming on YouTube as well um, I'm actually a lot more popular on YouTube than I'm on Twitch but uh, if you use OBS you can set up multi-streaming uh, and then I just archive all of my streams and uh, I do want to do like more structured uh, stuff but you know, especially starting out with YouTube, I think it's easier, especially if you have a Twitch and you kind of have some, some following there. Uh, it does help out. Okay, so hold on. So we're going to do a volume. We're going to do trigger volume. And we're just going to use this to test. Really high ups. Put that on the ground. Okay. This is really tiny. Use OBS. The problem is your internet is really bad, so you can't do streams easily. Oh, okay, I feel you. Yeah, I started with. Um, I would do. Like, I would work on my game for a week, and then i just time-lapse the work. Uh, and that's kind of how I got started. Um, so yeah, I was doing kind of like just long-form videos, time-lapses. And then a friend of mine convinced me to, to start streaming, so that's what I've been doing. Alright, so this trigger volume... We want to... Oh yeah, you too. Thanks for dropping in. Thanks for watching. So I need to open up our level bl blueprint, which is somewhere. Revision control. They moved everything on me in five. 
list of world blueprints. Convert, open blueprint, open level blueprint. That's where we are. All right. So in level blueprint, I want to take this. Okay. Take our trigger volume. There's got to be a level instance, ray tracing, mobile, advanced. Okay, so uh, on actor, begin overlap, trigger volume. Let's make sure I check for uh, my component tag. Otherwise, it's going to trigger way too soon. Oh, I can't check for, okay, whatever. Um, okay, we'll do play animation, play animation, and we will do NC gate drop. Well, let's just make sure that works. So placeholder code. Collision's not working, but that's okay. That's just because I didn't set it for collision. Uh, block all. We can go ahead and delete all that from the level because that's unnecessary code. And we will delete our 
trigger volume. Oh, well, I can actually move you down. That's probably part of my issue. You might just be a little late. Just maybe. I, you know... I would say so. But that's okay. I'm glad you're here, Rando. Your shorts have been driving me uh, up the wall. I'll, I'll tell you that much. Welcome. Thanks for dropping in. Trippy cat. Uh, yeah, so... Also, w welcome. Thanks for dropping in. The strip- the strippy cat. Forgive me. Uh, yeah, so... Uh... She's a, a game dev on- on Twitch. Uh, Hot Trash Games. They also have a YouTube channel. Uh, I'll show you. They work with the Fox engine. They're really cool. It's uh, her and her husband, fiance, something like that. Um, if I can remember what I'm doing. Uh, I can probably just find you guys on YouTube. Husband. Her husband. Uh, Eric. And I don't think I know her name. But... Uh, yeah, they do game development stuff. She's just over on Twitch asking me about the model. Um, yeah, his name's Nutjob Nicky. He's a merchant. Uh, but I got indexing set up, so now I can swap between models. Uh, and kind of show you that a little bit. So, like, uh, three... But yeah, so the squirrel's like a merchant. You said you... Uh, your shorts are driving me up the wall, some rando. The, the one where you were like, you can't pause this video, go ahead and try it. Threw me through the through a fucking loop. Alright, because I, I, I was like, oh wait, no, is that just like normal? And it's not. I have no idea how you did that. But yeah, so he's got a little merchant store. This is where you kind of buy upgrades and, and whatnot over here. Um, his name's Nutjob Nicky. He's a squirrel. Uh, let me exit out of that. Yeah, but hot, hot trash games. Love the distorted windows, thank you. Uh, they're much harder to find on YouTube, let me tell you that. I know they stream today, but sometimes it doesn't give me notifications for them. Did you like your voice changer? Is that what you're using? Oh, but yeah, let's see if... T-W-I-T-C-H dot TV Go to... Do I do my channel or I just... God, I am... Not on the top of my game right now. Give me a second. Community, followers list... 
Where are they? No. Wrong Discord. Or wrong Twitch. Yeah, Hot Trash Games. They, uh... They do some really cool work. Uh... I think they got a YouTube link here somewhere. I'll see. They're on YouTube, I swear to God. You're gonna check what my last short was, okay. Yeah, thank you. I've got, um... I've got, like, I built all these building blocks and whatnot, so I just kind of throw them together and, uh, kind of hollow out meshes and make insights. It's, it's a fucking tedious process, and I've got to make three more, uh, for this level. But right now I'm kind of blocking off the other level entrances. Um... Do... Hold on. Kind of towards the end of my stream. I'm just gonna kind of run around. I'll show you around. Um, so yeah, I've got a few things working. There's a lot of jank. There's a lot of bugs. Uh, I got my doors working. Started, uh, oh yeah, that one. Yeah. Yeah, that one. That one drove me up the fucking roof. We started working on our cave. So it's not super barren anymore. I think, uh, little boss arena down there. Your newest one is the, is the flashbang. Okay. I saw that one, I just don't remember what it was. But yeah, so we got that. I've got uh, switches working now. I've got a fun little glitch with uh, the elevators, I'll show you that. the one where you turn into oh oh the moth yes yes I just I saw it and I was immediately reminded about our conversations about how you uh, how you were collecting moth blood and it, it made me question reality yeah, so I have this switch that opens a gate uh, further out here. I'll have to set up like a camera so you can see that that gate opened. Um, I got the jumping puzzles working. So you can now access up there. I still don't have my death matches indexed, which is fine. <clears throat> I have environmental hazards now. Those will definitely be interesting. I know I'm gonna probably have the guillotine cut you in half. Uh, but uh, dismemberment systems are, are not as easy as... as you would think. This is my favorite glitch over here.
Your, v your views go 10, 20, 15, 8, 17, 20, 25. Yeah, that's, that sounds about right. So we got this, this elevator, right? Wanna come up? Come on, baby. Oh, it's okay. Come here. Come on. Yeah, so this elevator, while you're going up, and you jump, you can just fucking fly. It's a hundred percent way. Like you can definitely leave the map this way. buildings that I'm going to add in, into this area along uh, the cliff. I have the ability to reset the elevator with these switches. Yeah, so I'll add some buildings kind of along this cliff face. Uh, I've got the cave, probably s several interior-exterior buildings, and then I'm done with the overall level. I hate that bug. Zip line I've got to add. Uh, probably make a new door in this other area. Got these jump puzzles working now. These are bugged. The 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 ones on the other side of the level aren't. Don't you hate it when you have something going with your channel, but whatever you do, it drops views. Yeah. It should, like, for whatever reason, there are just, like, dead times on on the channel. Like, either YouTube just decides, well, we're not going to promote your, your views, or we're not going to do this, and it, yeah, it, it does suck. We have some jumping puzzles. Fix that animation. To send part of the message. Oh yeah? Ah, fucked it up. It's alright. But, I'll tell you what. I, I appreciate everybody that dropped by. Uh, I do have to work tomorrow, unfortunately. So, uh, I must be off. But, but thanks for watching. If you're new here, hit that follow, hit that sub. And, uh, I'll catch you in the next one.